Four-time Grammy winner Jason Isbell is back with his latest studio album, Weather Vanes, which is not only making waves on the charts, but pushes for positive change. That song you just heard, it's titled Save the World, and it tackles the haunting reality of school shootings and the weight it places on worried parents, calling for a collective commitment to build a safer world for our children and generations to come. And the singer-songwriter joins us now. Jason, we're so pleased to have you with us this morning. Um, let's start right there with such a, a weighty topic for that song. I mean, some artists really shy away from controversial uh, issues in their in their music, in their art. Uh, you didn't. You decided to take this one head on. Tell us why. Yeah, I go right for it. You know, what I'm trying to do when I'm writing these songs, and thank you for having me on, by the way, but um, what I'm trying to do is is document where I am in my life, uh, an emotional sort of document of uh, my situations, my worries, my fears, my concerns. And if I'm being honest with myself and I'm being honest with my audience, then I wind up writing about uh, pretty honest topics like this. It was tough. It's a tough song to write, you know. Um, uh it's such a heavy and loaded topic when I don't necessarily think it needs to be. It should just be something that we're all working together to try to resolve. Uh, Jason, it's uh, Jen Palmieri, and it's just such a delight to have you on the show. Full disclosure to everyone, I'm a very big Jason Isbell fan, and I'm proud that Lemire pronounced your name right. I worked real hard on that, too. Got it. Um, yeah, so... you guys got it. <laughs> right? I was like, don't embarrass mm -hmm. me, people. It's is ball, not <laughs> is bell. We got it. Um, so in addition to this, uh, so Save Our World, I mean, the whole album, it's just uh, phenomenal. But uh, Save Our World, I mean, what I thought was interesting is you tackle this issue and the fear and the trauma that parents feel, but you don't try to prescribe a solution. You know, you're not, you're not, there's no refrain about ban assault weapons. Um, I know some of the, that you're also, you're also doing this uh, event on August 15th to raise money for gun violence prevention groups in Tennessee. But um, what are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to achieve with putting this song out there, getting your own efforts behind uh, these groups that are working so hard to uh, help prevent gun violence? First of all, Jen, uh, good to see you, by the way. First of all, it's just really it's really hard to rhyme with assault weapons. Nothing really <laughs> rhymes with assault weapons. Um, and my job is to rhyme first and foremost. But, you know, what I like to do is is uh, is is be aware. And I like to make people on the other end of the line, people who are hearing these songs in their cars and their houses. Uh, I like to make them feel like they're not alone. I think sometimes that's the best that we can do as a songwriter. Um, you know, because we don't spend most of our time studying uh, numbers and statistics and ways to solve these issues. We're not politicians. Uh, some people might talk like a politician. I do sometimes. But um, what I'm trying to do is let people know you're not alone when you feel this way, when you feel afraid. And I don't offer a whole lot of solutions because I don't have a whole lot of solutions. I just have this awareness that helps me write these songs. Um, but in my uh, uh, non-creative life, I try to put as much of my action and as much of my money and as much of my effort as I can into making things fair and, uh, and, and equitable and true and honest and safe and real for the people who are in my audience and, and the people that I know and the people I care about. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I did it any other way because I'm a very lucky person. I get to do something that I love for a living. Uh, my parents, their parents, their parents, all those folks went to work every day and did a job that they hated. And, and I love going to work. So for me to be able to live with that, I have to really put my money where my mouth is and try to help some people sometimes. 
the um, you know you sp in, in that answer you talked about just having people making people feel heard, connected, giving them some kind of hope. And as, as we have discussed, uh, your 2017 song, Hope the High Road, was not a small event in my life. It was a real lifesaver for me, um, for people who, coming off of um, Hillary having uh, lost to Trump. And if people don't know the song, the key lyric uh, I would share is, there can't be more of us than them. And also, but, I'm not going to fight with you down on the ditch. I'll meet you up there on the road. And so it wasn't just, oh, kudos to Jason Isbell. He's willing to take on to have a sort of anti-Trump song and a, sing a songwriter from Nashville, someone who grew up in Alabama. It may cost him some fans. Like, great. That's like, good for you. But what was really important was you showed the nuance, right, that nothing in America is a monolith. Certainly the South is not. You come from a small southern town sharing what it's like in that small southern town. And then we have sort of the polar opposite, this Jason Aldean song uh, called Try That in a Small Town, which, you know, which seems to me to be, rather than seeking to have people understand each other, divide, um, uh, mm. divide the country. And I know you've spoken out against uh, that, you know, about that. What's it like? What, what do we need to know about your small town, Florence, Alabama, compared to the portrait that Jason Aldean is uh, presenting to the world. Well, I think in uh, in Jason Aldean's song, uh, you know, which which he didn't write, other people wrote, uh, uh, but I think that what it appears to me that's happening is is these sort of unfounded fears that small town Americans have. Um, it, it's being capitalized on. So, so you're drumming up this fear that, that there's going to be riots in the streets and people burning the flag and people carjacking and, and the knockout game. I don't know how the knockout game wound up in this song. This is very clearly a debunked racist myth that people just, you know, walk up and punch other people on the sidewalk. I don't know how this wound up in there, but, um, Pretty much all these things point to a very specific group of people um, as the perpetrator. And they say, you should be afraid of these people. And let, let me sell you something while you're afraid of these people. The way I see it, uh, most of the issues in, in my small town in Alabama, Green Hill, Alabama, Florence, Muscle Shoals, that area, uh, most of the issues there are are based around addiction, you know, opioid addiction, painkiller addiction, people not able to get a great education uh, or keep a job. Um, and, and, you know, I write about those things. When I write about a small town, I write about people who are um, uh, addicted and trying to dig their way out, you know, or people who are trying to take care of their family and have some pride in themselves. Because I'm not trying to sell somebody a, uh, a product. I'm trying to make something that is art and something that is creative. And I think it's a lot of people are missing the fact that uh, all the instances in, in Jason Aldean's song are, are just paranoia. I mean, I, I think it's actually I think the people who wrote it, the people who produced it, the people who released it, those people understand what's going on. Um, but a lot of people in the audience think, what's wrong with this? He's just saying, don't do bad things to people. But it's the particular bad things that they're focusing on. And none of those things are really a true danger to small town America. Um, they're a danger to this concept of uh, masculine whiteness. And that's the thing that's being traded on here. And I don't think that's okay. I, I think uh, country music should be three chords in the truth, and that's not the truth. The new album, Weather Veins, is out now. Jason Isbell, it has been a real pleasure to have you on the show this morning. Congratulations. Please keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. I will. All right.